What's up, my PT peeps? One Eye Bri, I'd like to talk about The Walking Dead, Season 7, Episode 12. Discussion and spoilers. Obviously, if you don't want to know, stop watching now. Spoilers are coming. What's highly likely to occur in the episode, 712. Stop watching now if you don't want to know. But I'm excited for 712. How about you? I think it's going to be like a start of a story for a couple episodes coming up, like a bridge to build in future episodes. But 712, say yes. The group scavenges for supplies back in Alexandria. Someone must make a morally challenging decision. Oh my goodness. So we got Rick and Michonne going out scavenging, going to stuff, getting some stuff like there too. Now people say the title Say Yes is like, are they going to propose? Are they going to have this? They're going to have that. I don't really know why people are saying that. You know, when people propose, they're not like, say yes say yes. That doesn't really happen. So I don't know where that's coming from, but Michonne and Rick are going out scavenging. They're going around getting a bunch of stuff and they hit the jackpot here. So it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be a heavy Rick and Michonne episode, which is fine by me. We're going to be some Rosita, Tara, Judith, garbage pail kids or scavengers or heapsters, whatever you're calling them. And then Father Gabriel in there a little bit as well. But Rick and Michonne, Team Michonne, I like to see it. There's going to be some sexy time for them. I'm excited to see that they get some supplies, some guns, some stuff, and they go out and kick some butt. Some close call with some walkers, but we'll see, you know. They basically go to a school that has a festival or a carnival or, or whatever or something, but basically a carnival-style thing. There's soldiers that have their weapons still on them, so they didn't take out any of the walkers or a problem. They still have the gun strapped on them, so he was already bit or devoured or something beforehand. So something big happened here. Hopefully we'll get to see a little bit more with it. But Rick and Michonne find some good stuff some artillery, some weapons, some ammo, some food, some meals ready to eat. They run into the saviors like briefly. They're, they're, they hide from them, but they steal some of their stuff because the saviors are out golfing or something evidently. So they get to steal some stuff. And the main thing is they get a battery for the walkie-talkie that Jesus stole from the sanctuary. So they get some good stuff. You see Rick and Michonne, they got some packs, they got some stuff, they got some gear. So either they brought it with them from Alexandria or they get it on the scavenge and they get some different stuff going forward and that. So I'm excited to see what they find or whatever because they know they need stuff for themselves, for the heapsters, for the saviors, for whoever, the hilltop. They're going to need weapons to fight and this is what it's going to be. So I, I, I kind of like the idea of them being at a school or something like that too. I know Kirkman said that in Instead of going to the prison, they thought about them being at a school when he was writing in the comics. So maybe this is his way of doing that a little bit. But they see the carnival, man. It looks like tons of crap there, too. We'll see, hopefully, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cameo stuff, a lot of Easter eggs, whatever. We'll see how it goes down in the episode. Now, here's where it gets a little dicey. Rick climbs up the Ferris wheel to get a better look. I think he falls comes down, you know, hard on there too. Michonne is worried about him. She sees kind of the whole thing happen, but, and Rick, Rick, it looks like he's in danger or whatever. And then Rick comes and saves the day when Michonne gets in danger. And I think the zombies are eating a goat or something that's there too. Why wouldn't they eat the goat by now anyway? I feel like how this has been there a long time, but either way, Michonne slice and dice, stab and nice, cuts him up, saves the day. Then Rick runs, gets to his guard, crawls, I guess, crawls to his, Colt Python gets into a car eventually at some point. I mean, this is definitely different than the van. Look at the windshields all broken up, zombie guts, blood, something on there too. So the cool thing is that Greg Nicotero posted this picture on Instagram, G Nicotero on Instagram. Give him a follow if you don't. But it's a kind of callback to Creepshow. That looks pretty cool. So be on a lookout for that to see the walker inside the you know ticket booth. We'll see that because there's going to be a lot of walkers in this episode. Season 7 has been low on the walker you know, toll, I guess, all the budgets towards Negan, I guess, or the CGI tiger. But no, walkers, we haven't seen much of them, but in this episode, we'll get our fill and our fix of them for sure. And it looks to be a good, exciting, action-packed, drama-filled episode, you know. Rick and Michonne have some close calls, but they make it out. You can't have them go. They even get some alone sexy time. Don't know if this is in the school or the van or whatever, but supposedly on a mat or whatever, they get it on. 
Then we see Father Gabriel probably meet up with the group back at Alexandria at some point, or he's talking to somebody, but I don't know if he he goes back with the group to the Garbage Pail Kids, Heapsters, whatever, guns, soon, or else. So they bring him some guns. I think they give him like 63 in total, or they keep 20 or something. I don't know. The number's online. It doesn't matter. They bring him a lot of guns, but Jadis says it ain't enough. So they got to get more guns, which this is pretty terrible. You're giving them guns without even them doing anything for you. It's not a good idea, and it's going to backfire in their ass for sure down the road. But we shall see. Then Rosita. She don't want help from nobody. Tara comes to help her take out the stitches on her face and the cream to do this. And, you know, Rosita's just not nice. We'll go with that. And she wants to get stuff done and she wants to do it now and by herself and not be held back by anyone and whatever. I understand that you want to get shit done, but you need to calm down a little bit and, you know, be around your teammates in your group. Rosita goes out, probably runs into this walker. At least they make you think that way, either way inside the house or something. So we'll see how it goes down. But Rosita goes out to get guns and supplies. And I believe she finds some guns herself. So I believe she finds some type of weaponry. She gets either this rifle from Rick when they went out. I would think it's a high-powered sniper rifle that she'll give to Sasha to coerce her to go take out Negan with her. So we get the start of Sasha and Rosita working together to try and take out Negan. So that's kind of a building block episode or part of the episode for, I believe, episode 14, as we'll see that with Sasha and Rosita working together to try and take out Negan with whatever their plan may be. But they're finally going to work together, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Tara. Tara's going to have a good, funny dialogue with Judith talking about Oceanside, and we're going to tell something like that. It seems to be a cute thing is what I hear. Then she also tells Rick that they need to talk, and then the episode's going to end around that point. So the talking point is going to be about Oceanside for sure, and we'll, I feel we'll see that in episode 715 where Tara takes Rick and them to Oceanside. So there we go, guys. Who's ready for tonight? 712. I know I am. How about you? Post your comments below. Check out the Walking Dead community page on Facebook. All are welcome. If you like this channel, you like that group for sure. If you do like this channel on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. We can't do it without you guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode tonight and really all the episodes. Subscribe today to get more videos. You guys are awesome, and thank you for watching.